So when you're talking about big mistakes, especially ones in the draft, fans will absolutely come to the defense of the team all the time and say like, oh, well, it's so easy to pick and choose uh, who made a mistake and who should have gone to what spot in the draft. If that was the case, then everybody made a mistake. Look, I'm aware the nitpicking that goes on like, oh, well, how did every other team in the league not know that David Pasternak was a star in 2014 and he dropped down into the 20s for the uh, Boston Bruins. Like, I mean, how did Buffalo draft Sam Reinhardt before him? Like that type of stuff, right? That's not what we're talking about today. The reason the 2018 draft pick of Jesperi Kotkaniemi was such a mistake for the Montreal Canadiens, listen, It's not because Quinn Hughes was drafted 7th overall and, oh, how did they not know that Quinn Hughes was going to be a generational player, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing like that. To me, it's the Ottawa pick at number 4 where Brady Kachuk got taken by the Ottawa Senators. That's where the mistake really lies here because that 3rd overall pick in 2018 for the Montreal Canadiens, everybody knew the Habs were entering into a rebuild and they needed to hit on a cornerstone piece with that third overall pick. Because at that point in Habsland, they weren't getting them very much, those high picks. So they needed to hit on it bad. And Bergevin knew tons of people, including himself, knew how important the pick was. And they came out and they went off the board with Kotkaniemi. That was not who a lot of people had projected to go in the number three slot. That's why it was a mistake, because they went off the board just to miss, okay? There was talk of Brady Kachuk going in the top two, certainly in the top three, there was tons of chatter, tons of smoke. So Brady Kachuk pretty well slipped to fourth overall in that draft. That's why this is such a mistake for the Montreal Canadiens, because it's not like Brady Kachuk was this guy that, oh, well, wow, the Sens really, they picked a really good one there, and it was a really smart, astute pick. Brady Kachuk fell into their lap. Okay, it was a straight up miss by Marc Bergevin to go with the big kind of question mark Finnish centerman instead of Brady Kachuk, who tons of people had seen ton of him playing with the U.S. program. So that's why this was such a whiff by the Montreal Canadiens. Could you imagine young, powerful, big, skilled Brady Kachuk? As part of this rebuilding Habs core, could you imagine a forward core of Suzuki, Caulfield, Kachuk, like that would just be sick to have that. And a top line left winger like that, I understand Slavkovsky looks similar. And I'm, I'm look, Slavkovsky by all accounts is going to be a great player in the NHL, but you cannot wish that away and, and let that wash away the skill and the important, vital role Brady Kachuk would be playing for the Montreal Canadiens right now. Like, don't you think that if Brady Kachuk was a Hab right now, there's a decent chance that he could be captain of this team? Seriously. So, Brady Kachuk right now, I think on the Montreal Canadiens, would have changed a lot. And, I mean, I know he plays in Ottawa, and Habs fans are not huge fans of the Ottawa Senators, But, I mean, you gotta admit that this guy's a real player. He is really good. He does so much well. He's so powerful. He hits, he fights, he scores, he passes. His hockey sense is underrated. Watch Brady Kachuk play. He makes some really nice little nifty touch passes. Little four, five, six foot passes. He's got great hockey sense. And every time I look at that draft, okay, I look at the 2018 one. And yes, Darlene, number one, I understand. Andrei Svechnikov at number two, I understand. But to go off the board and get KK at three is where Montreal made a gigantic mistake. And it's not even that they didn't get Quinn Hughes. Remember, Quinn Hughes went number seven to Vancouver. Yes, of course, that would have been a way better pick than yes, Barry Kotkaniemi was. But that's where you're nitpicking. That's where you're going and reaching years later with hindsight being 2020, knowing who the good players are and saying, oh, well, of course, uh, Pavel Datsuk, who was picked in the 28th round, should have been in the top 10. Like, oh, are you kidding me? Everybody could have guessed that. No, this is not what this is here. This is, at the time, scouts were projecting this, 
and scouts were looking at it, and it was one that, honestly, Bergevin just had to lay it up into the basket, and he tried to do a dunk, and he missed, okay? So, and the, the weird thing is, Kachuk would have been a dunk anyway. It's not like it was a layup there, too. It would have been a nice dunk, but Bergevin tried to do the MJ through the legs and completely missed, and that caught Kinyemi pick... While I do think the Habs are so lucky they have Suzuki to fill that number one center spot, and they've got guys like Caulfield and Slavkovsky to round it out, I do think that 2018 pick might come back to haunt them a little bit. What do I mean by that? I mean, uh, at some point, I do think they're going to wish they got a very productive core piece from that 2018 draft, because as of right now, like Christian Dvorak being Basically, I mean, because you look at what they got from the compensation for the Kotkaniemi pick, um, offer sheet, I should say, to Carolina. If that's what they ended up using to get Dvorak, it's not going to cut it right now. So we'll see what happens then, what they get for Dvorak when they eventually end up trading him. Uh, but I just, I wish it was Brady Kachuk that was wearing the Bleu Blanc et Rouge right now so bad. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. As usual, of course. How big of a whiff was called Kanyemi over Kachuk? Let me know. Comments down below. Is it one of the worst mistakes in franchise history? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.